Good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, I am El Blanco, and I'm with Creators One News. And tonight we have the Creators One business segment. And I would like to thank our guests that we have in here tonight. We have uh, Inner Peace, Dark Wise, Owl, Yolo Mac, and Chill Will, and Smitty. Um, normally, I would have gotten in earlier and uh, sent the list out. Uh, this hasn't been a very productive day. But we're here tonight to make sure that we give another segment for the Creators One business news, um, something that the Horizon uh, World members can utilize and incorporate into their um, into their projects and into the endeavors that they're mm -hmm. doing here in Horizon Worlds. So tonight, um, I want to stress again, I want to talk about the importance of uh, discords uh, for the Horizon World members. Um, when I first got in, I think about it's about close to two and a half years when I first came into Horizon Worlds. And um, I was just trying to share things with people because I came in here with the intention that this place was going to be on the on the blockchain immediately, right? So I was thinking that. So I was dealing with um, NFTs and things as such, dealing with the cryptocurrency and the blockchain. So I said, okay, this is um, th these these assets that we're creating. These are digital assets, and if they are digital assets, we have creators' rights to them, and therefore we will be able to uh, digitize them, and we'll be able to make them into NFTs, and we'll be able to sell them anywhere and everywhere, and and even they help promote and bring people here to this platform from other platforms. So I was telling people like, yo, you need to um, you know, start looking into that. And one of the things I was telling them about was discords, right? But since then, um, when I told people about discords who didn't know about it, because there's plenty of people who know about discords, but they were just setting them up as another app. They were using it like another little hangout, and they weren't understanding the importance of how you can use the discord. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie the discord concept into the real world scenarios, and then that may give people a better understanding of why they should get a discord and, 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 and the greatest purpose of having a discord. Okay, Discord is just another platform where you can have members. And this time, if this your Discord, you you set the you set the rules, the standards, and all those different things, and that 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 you establish for members to be a part of that Discord. And if you have people um, that that you know that build Discords and design them and, and things as such, you can really um, you can really do a lot of things, different things with them. And uh, like what what I'm gonna have on mine, I'm gonna have different tiers. Of people in the Discord, and so um, the different tiers would be people who can come in um, for these these purposes, and some for other purposes, and some that may come in as professionals to support the Discord itself, as well as moderators, just like you would have moderators in any other platform, right? So, but what's important about a Discord is if you're concerned, like I am, concerned about how things are going on these. Um, <laughs> on these uh, different um, platforms. And when I say platform, I'm gonna to refer to uh, Web2, which we're basically on. And then you have Web3 that's coming, which is like decentralized. And um, and that's what I really wanna focus on, talking about Discord for decentralized purposes. So if you're decentralized, you're the authority, right? You're the authority. If you're not, de if you're not decentralized, you know, you're under someone else's authority. So we're going to take something like, uh, I'll give you an idea like, let's say, for instance, you're you're in a state and you want to do business in a state, right? So if you register a business entity under the state, the state will have jurisdiction and have control over it, even though you're running it, but you're following their rules. Um but let's say you decide that you want to have a certain type of business and you're going to register it with the state, but you want to control it, right? So that could be something like a nonprofit organization, some type of church establishment, some type of organization where you have your own board of directors or your own governing board. So you can apply that same scenario to like a Discord in here. So think about it when you're um, on Facebook or any other um, platform, right? And all of a sudden you want to, you, people are trying to speak on certain issues and then they want to fact check it and then they want to block you from that information or they won't let the link work or things like that. They want to basically, um, you know, limit what you see and what you hear if it's not in accord with the official narratives. Well, a Discord, you don't have those problems. Um, anything goes, anything you want to allow to talk about, to look into, to share, you can do that. And then since you can do that, you can also structure your Discord for, uh, let's say, for instance, for, for, for a person in here who has like three clubs, okay? 
people have a lot of a, there's a lot of clubs in here and people are trying to trying their best to get monetized and to keep those mm -hmm. clubs to keep those clubs um with the proper capacity so they can earn money while being in here and turn this into a real life uh situation so i told people before okay if you own if you own worlds whether they're worlds or clubs whatever but specifically clubs uh, there are so many ways you can do to incentivize people to want to come and hang out at your place. And there's a lot of people who don't have anything to do out there or any experience. Mm -hmm. and, and you can give them uh, jobs in your clubs. You can give them tasks or responsibilities. But you can incentivize people and you can make it to where the incentives are, 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 are so great that they'll always be there, right? And they're coming through the Discord. So it's like it's like you're directing people to a Discord that you can end up having hundreds of thousands of members if you could ever make it that big. And then when you get, get to a Discord and it gets let's say, let's say a Discord gets real big, right? You can even have um, you know, now pay subscriptions or you can have uh, items, you can take your your items that um let you sell in real life or you, that you make in here and they can actually have access even through the Discord, right? And then you can direct them through the Discord back here to other places. And and that's what's happening. Everybody's linking up their worlds with their e with their emails, with their websites, with their other with their other sites. And through a Discord, you can do it all. And a Discord is just like saying you have another organization, whether it's a nonprofit organization that you don't have to call it in here, just call it a Discord, but you can have any kind of organization with a governing body that you can establish and then you control it. And that means you create everything, the incentives, the um, gifts, um, whether you have, um, I mean, e even if you're doing like, like fun things, like you're doing auctions and things within the, within the group. So that's what I wanted to really focus on tonight. I wanted to like reiterate to the, to Horizon World members that you should be establishing yourself a discord. You should have a discord if you have multiple worlds, if you're trying to, um, maintain a certain amount of traffic, your friends will not be able to, um, you know, show up all the time as frequent as things are being developed in here, as frequent as worlds are dropping, your friends just can't make it everywhere because now they're get, they're, they're on projects of their own and they're too uh, coming in to do the things that, you know, they do to unwind and enjoy the place. So that's, that's what it's been about tonight is to, to refocus on Discord. So make sure to go look into Discords. And if you need assistance with trying to find out the best way to do Discords, you have AI, you have, you have chat, GP, uh, chat uh, GPT, I'd be saying that wrong. But yeah, you have those things. You have BARD, you have, well, I think they just changed theirs to Gemini. I think BARD has been changed to Gemini. Um, but you have these tools, right? Whether they're, you have the free versions and you have the paid versions. And these are the tools that can help you you know, if you can ask, you can ask different questions. How feasible is it to have a Discord? It'll answer that question. Then you can turn around and say, okay, now why? When it gives you the answers of the feasibility, then it'll give you more information. Then you can say, okay, what are the, what, where are the best sources of having these, you know, people that make Discords or whatever. You can go through that whole process until you come with your complete plan of action. Because once you, as you get the answers, like when I get the answers, I always copy and paste them into a Word document. And then once I cut and paste them into a Word, Word document, I always edit it. I give the bold, the red ink, the what I want to stand out, un underline, and so forth, so I can get a very concise understanding on what I need to do and how I need to go about it. Because what the AI will do, it will give you the most up-to-date uh, answers based on, you know, what's going on today. And you can even you can even be very um, specific, and you can say, okay, well, regarding the geopolitical environment, right? So the geopolitical environment, that's everything. That's what's going on in the Middle East, what's going on with the BRICS, what's going on in Africa. You know, it may not, you may not ask it specifically to tell you every single thing, but just saying, taking in consideration the geopolitical environment, how, um, how important would it be to have an online business using things like discourse? And it'll tell you, it'll tell you. And um, then you can get a very good idea on where you want to go and how you want to go about it um, when otherwise you wouldn't because you just don't have enough information, you know, or know that these tools are available. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for showing up tonight. Um, the, 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 the topic tonight was discourse and how you can tie it into Horizon Worlds and everything else and, uh, and how you can go about, you know, using uh, the chat GPT and other services as such to uh, help you understand these things more and get yourself a plan of action so you can start working towards it.
So thank you again. If you want to see a lot of our other segments, make sure you go to our website. That is creatorsonenews.com. Again, creatorsonenews.com. And I'm El Blanco. Good night.